today. Kids say the darndest things. I couldn't go up to her coffin. In her last days, in a battlefield of blankets and a skull cap, I just remember her being angry at everyone, just angry. My eyes were a leaky ship when she went, and I cursed out my sister when she couldn't fill the buckets with me. That's our grandma, I yelled. Our spam and eggs funny laugh, sometimes inappropriate, but always fucking honest, sit on the porch and people watch till the cows came home. The Lucille bawled to my Desi Arnaz grandfather, grandmother. My eyes ran dry like a fire hydrant, no one dared to shut off while the kids were playing, and my sister just couldn't cry with me. People just deal with death differently. I didn't feel like celebrating life or anything for a while after that. Josh is my eight-year-old cousin. Dara is his sister, age six. She says things like, now I need two hands to tell people how old I am. Yeah. And when I ask her to chop the streets with me, she asks me to tell her when I need spaces between the words and punctuation. She's six. Josh tells me what he learned last week in junior chef school and how many chess tournaments he's won. He wants to sue the world. <laughs> When his grandmother was in the hospital, he didn't understand how, with all the doctors and scientists in the phone book, there is still no cure for breast cancer. He didn't understand how a heart so good could be encased in a chest so poisonous. They visited her daily till Josh picked up the phone after school one day, and someone on the other end who didn't know that he didn't know said, I'm sorry about your grandma. Fuck sibling rivalry, Josh and Dara hugged each other for what must have felt like forever and said together, at least she's not in pain anymore. I wasn't afraid to see my aunt at her funeral. I wasn't afraid to be a fighter just like her. The rabbi said, we should all do better to live out the little dash between life and death as fully as Lynn did. I wasn't afraid to celebrate life anymore, every single moment of it. I'm fearless now and I'm hopeful because HIV was cured in a toddler, because 3D maker machines can now replicate stem cells, and Josh still wants to sue the world because we're not doing enough to cure it. You being here tonight is a start in showing him that we are.